Hi guys, today I'll be giving you one proper guide how to use the deduplication software in your Synology NAS. So what is a NAS? NAS is nothing but a network address storage. I can show you one guide for this one. This is just like one hard drive and you will be using it to store your content just like one cloud storage that we use Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive like that. So this is the software one. This is a police software which we are using today. Uh, you can use it in any platform like in Linux or uh, in your in your Windows as well as in Mac. Any OS you can use this one. So uh, I'll use this one in our Synology NAS. This is like one drive server. So you will install this one here. You have to use it in your Docker container. So first of all, you have to download it from the control panel of the Synology NAS. This is like on content manager, container manager, sorry. Uh, first, you will go to the control panel, then go to the package center. In the package center, you can search for content manager, container manager. Container manager. And here you can download this one. After that, you have to download one image of this user. This user has uploaded this software. So you can download this one. If you search for here, you can go to the registry, I think, and you can search the software here. That is this Quaqua. <laughs> you cannot pronounce it properly because it's a different name or name. Uh, after that, you have to run this docker command. So for running this docker command, you have to keep the root access. So first of all, we'll go to the control panel. You can do it from the SSH as well. You can run this command. I ran the command from the uh, uh, Windows PowerShell using this SSH. But you can also uh, run it from here only. First you will go to tax scheduler and here you can give uh, for first of all you, you you need to know the id the group id and the user id of your nas so first you will run this id first so i'll show you i'll give the user here and you can give the tax name anything tax name uh, then you have to give the start date and the, in the repeat section you have to give do not repeat in the tax setting you have to give one id this will be in the smaller case Okay, so in the user defined script, you have to put ID and you have to give your email ID so that you will get the output from there. If you click on OK, then you can run it. If you run it, you will get your user ID. The user ID will be of uh, this format as I am using this Google Chrome only. You will not get the proper output. Uh, I'll show you what is the output. So this is the output you will get like this this is my user id this is my group id okay and this is for administrative topos okay then uh, you have to create another script for this one similar way you can give the task name and you have to give the user as a root and in the task setting you have to give to the command for giving the root access okay same thing this is the user id this is my group id this is the port we are using to run the application and this is your docker um, directory i will show you the docker directory as well when you install this docker from the content uh, content manager it will automatically create one shared folder here uh, in that one folder you have to create one config folder only this folder and after that uh, you have to go to control panel and uh, you have to give the um, directory in which you want to do the changes means the uh, if you want to remove some files or uh, duplicate files then you have to give the folder name as i am using it for um, the photos purpose because there are some more similar photos uh, are there that's why i'm using this one after that you have to i think it is duplicated now okay. after running this command you will get uh, the container manager will be running like this Otherwise, you can open it from here and run the container.
okay so after that you have to go to the as i am using this in my local internet ip address i will use this local address with the port number 5800 so it will open the software after that you have to go to the storage section because this storage section is storing all, uh, all the home directory on that photos directory that you are using if i search for the empty directory that one it will search for the storage section okay i'll i added another one directory here that is not required so i will delete this one i will remove this one after that uh, we'll go to this empty directory and search for the files you can do all these operations in this software like duplicate the files empty directory if there are any big file you want to delete you can do that if any file is empty then it will search for that file and uh, from there you can delete it similar images similar videos broken files and some bad extension you want to remove you can do that as well the excluded directory are these directory and uh, the modules like the node modules cache git lost and found like this directory this will be omitted if you whatever you give here in that way it will remove the things so here we got this folder name what is the path and what is the modification you can delete from here as well delete move all these actions can be done from here because you have the root access right so uh, i'll create i'll show one example here uh, i'll create one empty folder uh, we'll see if it is working properly or not so i'll go to the nas folder and we'll create a empty file yep okay so now we'll search for this one the folder is coming here we'll get the timestamp as well in this way you can search for the files and delete it if you get any docker permission error you can refer these files you can refer this url how to get the root access if you want to run the uh, run this command from the command so first you have to um, enable the terminal first windows terminal windows power cell and from there you have to run into you have to log into your obs studio sorry you have to log into your uh, nas using the ssh and from there you have to run the docker command which i am going to show you after this just a second so first we will go to the power cell and you have to run the command to log into your nas so we currently logged in to our user som admin and you now you will give the root access now it is showing as a root access here you have to give your sudo command that sudo docker command this is the command this is the step by step procedure you can follow this one if you find anything i will put this one as well in the description section you can search from there and use accordingly these are the referral urls i have given here so that you can if you want to run any other apps in your docker container then you can refer these websites as well that's it so this is done i guess thank you